This week on Buck Commander. It is official. We're at the E3. Uh, this group hunt is my favorite time of year. And they're about ready to fire this thing off. Let's just literally tear up as many cars as we can at the same time. Get you a good look at Medusa right there. For some reason, there's some deer that just, I guess, strike me as next to impossible to kill. And typically, that's the deer I want. Other than opening day of hunting season, this group hunt is my favorite time of year. All right, uh, day one, got my bow. And I left my phone, so now I'm reading. Weather's pretty good. It's a little chilly. We got a uh, cold front coming in at the end of the week, so it should uh, should send deer into a, a frenzy to start moving around a lot. So the rest of the week should be pretty fun. Stay tuned. It is official. We're at the E3. We always count down the days until we can come up here. Of course, we could come up early while Roach is still playing and backdoor them. But we would never do that, would we, Mikey? Yeah, we would. <laughs> yeah, we would. So this year we decided to do a late season hunt in December in hopes that with all the food we've got on the ranch that we could get these deer a lot more patterned than we had them in November. Unfortunately, Mikey and I hadn't done much killing before the guys got in, so there was a lot of deer out there. Some of them we would consider trophies. Others had been around way too long and just needed to go. There he is. Get you a good look at Medusa right there. Couldn't be his last night on Earth. Medusa has been driving me crazy for three years, to the point where I had to put a bounty on his head for somebody to kill him. I don't care how big Medusa is, I need $100. A lot of times when we go on a hunt by ourselves, you kind of have that drive and you're really focused on getting whatever you're after. But when we get on a group hunt, a lot of times the camaraderie kind of comes to the forefront and yes, we're still there to harvest an animal, but it's a chance to get to see the guys and we don't get to all be in camp together very often. Want to tell us about your red ball? Don't talk about it. What's the history of it? It's so good. I can get the keys. I don't think you can. Well, I don't have to tell you guys that the trend for this group is to tear up vehicles. This is about to get real exciting. Enjoy. Rental cars, really? A rental car at a Buck Commander event? You know, I think my stance on E3 is don't break any of my bones, don't break any of Adam's stuff. Uh, 
you never know what the hell that light's gonna do, but uh Definitely looks elevated. Oh, it's up on a rock. <laughs> nice, I like it. Good work, guys. So how do we get this off? So I wanted to channel all this into something creative. I can't think of anything more creative than a crash up derby. Rochi comes up with a great idea. Let's just literally tear up as many cars as we can at the same time. It's brilliant. We're having a race. Not just any race. We've got beater cars. And that's exactly what they're gonna take is a beat. Temperatures dropped about 20 degrees in the last day. So today it's cold. All the deer we've had, they're coming out right at dark. So hopefully with this uh, weather changing a little bit, getting colder early, it'll get them up moving around a little earlier than normal. Day 79 of the E3 group trip. Actually, I should think it's like day five, but... Good luck, Mikey. We're gonna sit on a uh, three-acre soybean field. It is. It's corn. Oh, we're gonna sit on a three-acre corn field. Nine of diamonds has a habit of coming into this field in the evenings. A lot of times on does, so we're kind of at the mercy of which doe he happens to be on tonight. A little off sight here from the E3, but we're close. Hunt with Mr. Jake Gross, um, who found my first deer I ever killed at the E3. So old friends are meeting up again, and uh, we've been doing a little Bible studying on the way over, and um, he put me in his spot, and me and Jamie hopefully can get something done here. So when opening day comes around and I have a deer that I'm going after, it's not always the antler size that determines what, what deer that is. For some reason, there's some deer that just, I guess, strike me as next to impossible to kill. And typically, that's the deer I want. You know, there's a lot of things you can do when a big buck is approaching to control where he goes. When they get on a doe, you're at her mercy. You know, here's the deal. The Buck Commander guys love to have fun. We goof off, we hang out, we hunt together, and those things are great. But anytime somebody has real problems in their life or, you know, has questions and stuff they want to turn their life around for the Lord, we're always ready to do that. <laughs> Jake found my first deer I ever got at the E3 Ranch, so I knew I always owed him one. I just didn't know this is where I would give it back to him. From this day forward, who's gonna be the Lord of your life? Jesus Christ. Come 
helping him get his life right with the Lord, and uh, oh. I was so glad that I was there at that moment to be able to help him out. Oh! That was trying to hold me down with his mud. Stuck? <laughs> yep. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2013 Buck Commander Cup Challenge. I'm Bo Dotley with my host here, Mr. Matt Light. How you doing today, man? Bo, oh, I'm having a great day, man. I'll tell you what, we have a beautiful day for racing, and these boys are fired up today. Are they fired up? You think oh, so? I'll tell you what, man. They had a great morning this morning. They were all stretching like crazy. Yes. Got a good half mile jog in, and they're about ready to fire this thing off. I think they are. I think they are. I like pickles. My car's not starting. We got Mr. Jason Aldean in the uh, Under Armour car. Okay. Yeah. Yep. We got uh, Mr. Willie Robertson in the Redneck Blinds car. We have Tom Bo Martin in the Barnett Crossbows car. We have Mr. Luke Bryan in the Walker's Game Year car. Oh boy, those guys are down there bumping They're all already. This, this is a right. sign, I'm telling you. We've got Adam LaRoche in the Flex Tone Game Calls car, and we have Mr. Brian Langer the stack on the car. Yeah, I'll tell you, the stack on's the odd favorite today, you know, I and mean, when I say odd, I mean odd, because that boy was cross-eyed when he got in there. Right, and you, you know, when you push the gas pedal, you go faster. Thank you, Bo. Uh, you know, let, let's uh, let's try to focus here on the, oh, we have a little work being done on uh, Mr. Robertson's car here. This looks like we good. might have a problem. I mean, this, uh, this, I... this looks to be, he's, he, he's kicking... That, that was a, a step up side kick, and, and now we're Now rocks. he's throwing rocks. Now rocks. We're, we, we've resorted to throwing rocks. We have a little bit of rubbing before we've even gotten this show on the road, well, and that's, now rock throwing. Well, that's not very sportsmanlike. No. He's throwing things. Well, that's going to move up the Barnett crossbow car. You know, this might be a, a, a deciding factor in this race. It will. You know, oh, there's the horn, and they're off. All but one. We have, we have a. We have the uh, stack on car what is the driven by Mr. Langerhands. It's not going, but the rest of these boys are racing. And I'll tell, tell you what, they're getting it. It's getting a little wild. We yes, have yes. the Barnett. Oh, there's Tombow and the Barnett crossbow. Tombow and the Barnett crossbow. Coming in, leading the race. Oh. And the Under Armour car is right on his heels. Oh, and they're touching I'll it. Tell you, what. you know, I like my chicken fry. It's kind of. Yeah, I do too. Uh, a little bit of chicken fried or a whole lot? Sometimes with his legs I like it also. There goes Jason Aldean in the Under Armour car, and Tombo Martin is leading the pack. Tombo Martin has got some experience in. on this track. I mean, this yes, is his first is. rodeo. That boy has been racing. And here they come three. Oh, the cut through has been oh, made. Oh, it has been made. Tombo oh, has hit the he cut made through. made the cut through. And followed closely by the Walker Game Ear car. Oh, my gosh, this is a race. Lange's we got a race will not start. Langy's out of it. Oh, the helmet's been thrown. Okay, oh, That's not going to be good. Watch out! Here we go. Tombo's keeping a pretty good pace. I'll tell you what, he is focused. I've he never seen focused. a man that focused in a car before in my life. I'll tell you what, roach has got a pretty good uh, game plan going here. Uh, losing. I mean, But he's consistently he's losing. Consistently losing. Yes, he is consistently losing. They don't call him the flocks for nothing. I'll tell oh, you. Rub it on the outside. Here we go. Oh! oh we're trading paint. He's putting Trent, him in the wall. Oh, put him right into the cut through. But it did not help him. I'll tell you what. <laughs> We got ourselves a race. We have a race today. We have a race. We have a race. It's a race. I have a tricycle on the child. Was it a good one? Uh, red? It was green. Red. Oh, green. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. it was. Oh, it's some, oh, Luke's car is smoking. Here we go. Luke's car is smoking. I'll tell you what, he might have put that in the pits. Tombo is unstoppable today. Tombo has definitely run away with this race. We have a new race leader right now. Jason Aldean in the Under Armour car is leading so, the pack. We're stopping the race. We have a flag.
What's your name again? Matt. Okay. Great. I'm here with Tom. Hey. It was fun. But let's hunt. Let's hunt. Yeah. Let's roll. That was fun. Good work. Oh, let's go hunt. Hey, that's right. Hey. I never started. I'm trying to clean this up. I probably wouldn't start. <laughs> Is this it? I guess it's over. Is this it? This is all we got? <laughs> Mikey, I tell you what. That boy some kind of hung up on Nine of Diamonds right now. And I think he needs to change it up a little bit and go try to get after Medusa. You go to the scrape two or three mornings in a row ride it out, I think he'll kill that deer. He wants him killed so bad. That's the number one deer on your hit list. All of us have tried to knock him out for you. Go get it done yourself, boss man. Go do your dirty work. We knew we were in his home. But again, those older deer have a knack for knowing when you're in there and slipping right by you. So the chances of actually seeing them, probably not great, but you never know until you go in. Sure enough, we're not in the tree, but about an hour and crossing the creek, I see a deer that I think is just a little four pointer. And after getting the binoculars on him, come to find out it was the legend himself. Looks like a fork, a four pointer. Oh, wait a minute, it's Medusa. So the route he was going, we weren't going to have a shot, but after a little bit of enticing, we got him in bow range. of Medusa. Been watching you a long time, fella. We finally got on the same page. You know, when you've got one that you've been watching for this long and have thousands of pictures of, you know, to finally get to hold that rack and, and know that the, the mission is accomplished is, I mean, that's why we bow hunt trash everywhere take a seven-year-old any day of the week so a hundred dollars get off the table can i have it <laughs> 